Hi everyone, I'm Sylvain and I'm gonna walk you through a great new Visual AI capability, Image Augmentation. We're gonna create new image data from the existing ones by applying transformation operators to existing images. Scaling, shifting, rotating, vertical and horizontal flipping, blurring, random cutout. The benefit is your models in production will be more stable without paying the cost for collecting and labeling more images. We use the Gross Restore dataset. It is made of one row per image, each picture capturing a fruit, a vegetable, or a beverage. The pictures are taken right from the Gross Restore. Objective is to identify the fruit, vegetable, or beverage in the image. It's a multi-class problem with 81 classes. It looks like we get a reasonable number of images per class, but not many. Let's take a look at a sample of images. Seems like pictures can be fuzzy, not centered, taken from different angles and different distances. Welcome to the real life. We can see this as a problem the solution of which uh, would be to collect more data. But it's not free nor easy to do. Or we can turn this to a positive thing. Indeed, this fuzziness in the image creation process is something I can reproduce. I can create valid examples from the existing ones by applying some transformation operators. I can add blur, I can rotate things, I can scale things. It's not expensive, well, it's free, um, and that's a huge benefit. Plus, it's likely to create a more stable model in production. Let's do that now. Let's go to the Advanced Options and click the Image Augmentation tab. Activate it, and then from there, uh, you will be able to define and decide which operators to apply. Um, the first thing is to decide how many new images to create per or each original image. Here, let's pick the highest number possible, 36. Then you will be able to decide uh, the probability uh, for the robot to apply each operator. Let's stick with 75% here. Now let's take a look at the operators. It looks like by applying horizontal flip, I will create perfectly valid images. So let's select this one. Vertical flip, probably not. Shifting, makes sense here. Um, not everything is centered. So let's, because I like round numbers, uh, let's pick 0 0.1 as the proportion of uh, shift applied to each image. Scaling, same thing. Sounds like zooming in is creating perfectly valid images. Let's apply this and let's stick with the default uh, value here. Rotation, makes sense here. Uh, rotating things a little bit will create perfectly valid images. Maybe let's not stick with 45 degrees, seems a bit too much. So let's decrease this to, let's say, 20 degrees. Blur, yeah, perfectly valid. A little blur seems to happen already um, in the wild, so let's generate some randomly. But as always, as I like round numbers, let's just use 10 as the feature size. Cutout, not here. By clicking Preview Augmentation, I can quickly take a look at some examples of generated images. Looks like indeed it's creating perfectly valid images. So let's use that and let's create models as usual by pushing the start button. Let's see the result. Here I get as usual a leaderboard of models, all blueprints using image augmentation as a pre-processing step to generate more images, more valid images. What's interesting is to compare the result with um, the situation where I don't use augmentation at all. So for instance, here we see the performance um, um, measured by the balanced accuracy 
is around 95%, which is not bad for an 81 classes multi-class classification problem. Let's take a look at what this model, what the performance of this model is if I don't use augmentation. So here I have another project where I didn't use image augmentation and we can see that the predictive performance, um, the balance accuracy here is 92.47%, uh, so a bit less. So we can see here that even at training time, even before productionizing the model, um, this is improving accuracy. All right, let's go back to the previous project. From there, I can create and iterate over image augmentation. I can do that like any other parameters uh, I want to advance tune. I just click the model, go to the advanced tuning tab, and there, there is a new section where I can manage the list, what we call the augmentation list, that are capturing um, the different operators I want to apply. For instance, here the initial list has been created based on my settings in the advanced options before pushing the start button. And I can show the preview, the same preview I saw before. I can manage the list from here. You can see I created some others. I can decide to not apply augmentation or I can decide to create a new list. The same way I did uh, before pushing the start button. I will find the same parameters and I will be able to say, oh, not this one, not this one. Preview a result and save the list. I can go back here and select my new list. And then as usual, create a new model from this blueprint applying this augmentation list. All right, this is how image augmentation works. Hope you will use it soon to build models that are more robust in production without having to spend time and money collecting more images. Cheers.